Hello, everyone. Thank you for, again for tuning in to Bull City International Film Festival Sneak Previews. I'm Hannah Silverman, and today I'm talking with Melissa Skirbel, who is the director and co-producer of the film Greetings from Sarajevo. Hi. Thanks. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Uh, I'd just like to start off with the easy first question. How did you get into filmmaking? Uh, I came in through theater. So I've been doing theater in one form or another for, I don't know, almost 30 years, I guess. And I had started uh, writing and directing 12 or 14 years ago. And I took a short play that I had written and turned it into my first short film. Um, and once I did that, I fell in love. And now I really just want to be filmmaking all the time. Although I still do theater. How was that transition for you? It's not like to going from theater to film. Uh, you know, I think once I did it, it was far easier than I thought it was going to be. I think for years I was really intimidated by the technology. Mm -hmm. um, not, you know, coming in, I started as an actor and then I started writing and then I started directing. So, you know, camera angles and, and mm -hmm. shots and uh, all of that stuff. Uh, I let stop me for a long time, but as soon as I jumped in, it actually was a little bit like a duck taking to water. I felt like all of the pieces of everything I had been doing previously started to come together really well. So I've been lucky, but it's also filmmaking is such a team effort. And as long as you surround yourself with people who I feel like just who are better than you, who like a, a director of photography who's really smart and really good and knows what they're doing, a producer, line producer who knows how to find the right people at the right price, uh, you know, great script, great actors. That, I mean, I think that's one of the things I have really going well is from doing theater for so long, I know so many wonderful actors and I know, you know, I, I coach acting, I teach acting, I know how to work with actors. So you get that and you have the technical crew that knows how to do their job and let them do it. Then it makes everything easy. Wow. Uh, can you kind of tell us what the process was like putting this movie together? So uh, the, Screenwriter Penny Jackson, who I worked with on our previous film, My Dinner with Schwartzy, um, had been submitting this to some screenplay competitions and was getting some good feedback. She asked me if I wanted to read it. And when I read it, we ended up doing a table read with some actors uh, at her place. And as soon as I heard it out loud, I'm like, I know how to shoot this. Like, let's do it now. Like we can do this in one day, we can do it inexpensively. We, you know, and I had in my, like it all was in my head immediately without really thinking, you know, I didn't have to do too much. And because we had had such a good experience working together on my dinner with Schwartzy, um, she trusted me and we found a team and were able to get things uh, done really act very quickly. Um, I, I think probably within a month or so after we did the table read, we were shooting. Um, I knew I wanted to, so I had been taking some editing classes and I this is the first time I've edited a film as well oh. as directed it, um, which I think actually made the shooting process quicker because I knew what shots I wanted because mm -hmm. I already had ideas. Um, but I wanted to get it done before the Christmas holidays so that I could start editing over the slow period when I wasn't working as much my day job and I'd have the time and then COVID hit. So I had tons of time, <laughs> um, but so we did it towards the end of uh, November, right before Thanksgiving. And I had all of that time kind of scheduled to edit. What, what was it about it that particularly grabbed you that you immediately had to do? It was just the energy of the room or just you just did something new? I, it, it was just something that, I, have you seen the project? Yeah, I have. It, it was really exciting. Yeah, there like, so this was originally a play that mm -hmm. Penny wrote. It may have even been a short st story first, um, but as a play, it's two women in a laundry room talking and it was called Directions. Mm -hmm. And 
the, her first screenplay had followed that same format. But as soon as I heard it, I'm like, I can see these directions being told as we watch Hannah moving through the city. So your play is still there, but would take it out of that laundry room and put it into the city and it becomes this visual feast of Times Square and the subway and everything else. So I, I don't know, there are some projects that when I read them, I just, I see it fully formed in my head. Um, and this was one of those. So I was like, let's do it, let's do it now. Yeah. Um, so it, it just worked out well. And, and Penny and I have a really great working relationship. Um, I've directed some of her stuff for theater as well. Uh, we co-wrote and co-produced my dinner with Schwartzy. Like it, it, it's a good collaboration. And I think anytime you have somebody that you can collaborate well with, it's really valuable. So keep making it happen. Yeah, so jumping off from that, um, what advice do you have to the young filmmakers who are watching this interview now? I would say uh, just jump in. Jump in whether it's paying thousands of dollars or nothing. I mean, if it's a good project and it's a good team, um, the more that I know people hate to work for free. I hate to work for free, but if I hadn't made my first film, which I made myself and did not pay myself, I would not be a filmmaker. Like you have to get the experience and you have to be willing to fail to learn. So like just get in and do it and and surround yourself with people who know more than you. That's you know, that, I think like it's like learning to play tennis or anything. If you you can't learn anything if you're the best person in the room. If you're the smartest person in the room, you're the wrong in the wrong room. Hmm. That's true. <laughs> uh, so I think we can wrap up with okay. my personal favorite question. Uh, what do you plan to do next? I have a couple of things going on. I just finished my first draft of a feature screenplay that I'm writing um, and starting on working on some of the notes that I got back and hoping to submit that to some screenplay competitions and possibly get that filmed next, next fall. Um, I have a short film that I'm working on with Penny again, something else that she wrote that we may try and shoot sooner rather than later. And another short film that I wrote that I may be working on this summer as well. So that's all stuff that's coming along and hopefully you'll see some of those for next year's uh, festival. Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, talking with me, Melissa. Um, everybody check back in with the Bull City International Film Festival. Our stuff is coming out soon and take a look at all of our sneak previews. Thank and you. Greetings from Sarajevo. <laughs> Absolutely. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.